you do, buddy. My name is Crunch, and welcome to a very important video about Subnautica. Um, I'd just like to welcome you to my amazing lava base, uh, surrounding this column of complete lava. Um, I spawned a few lava lavas to uh, add to the atmosphere, put a few hundred LED lights around. I've got a base up there with some uh, spotlights, you might not be able to see them. Uh, they're not too bright, and this base has quite a few on top of it as well. Um, thought it'd be cool to have a little observatory down here as well, just to uh, spectate with the lava. Use the terraformer to make them. Seems now that it's using the same... Oh, wait, no. No, it doesn't. Uh, I think the power's just run out, although I can't exactly tell. No, it hasn't. Okay. So this is my lava um, observatory, uh, laboratory, if you will. Um, where I shall study this large column of lava, which seems to have spurred it up for no random reason whatsoever, but it's not for no random reason whatsoever because I think I agree with someone um, I was looking around on the internet, I saw so I heard something in Fiat's video, I was like, what? Is this real? So I went around on the internet looking for clues as to whether it was real or not and stumbled across this on the internet so basically what they've revealed is some major storyline in Subnautica, like, the what the storyline is going to be. If you don't want to know about the storyline, then you don't have to watch this video. If you want to find it out for yourself, then go buy the game, and then eventually it will come. But if you want to know what the storyline will be, then stay and enjoy it. Because it's cool. So, basically, we've been sent on a mining expedition. The Altera team have been sent on a mining expedition to this unknown world to terraform it or to mine it as suggested by the name mining so we were meant to come on a three-year mining operation this doesn't mean that we've come here to support anyone we could have just come here to see the resources but of course we know we know that there are abandoned bases in this game that people have been on this planet before and something went terribly wrong or they're still here and those bases are abandoned. So, basically, I'll, gi I'll give you a rundown of what seems to be happening in the story, and I will continue building this base if I, if I can think of anything else to do whilst I'm trying to explain it to you, if it doesn't get too hectic and in the way of things. Oh, a nice square block right there. That's quite strange. Okay, so basically, first off, I'll tell you the coordinates of this pillar. Um, here. So you want to look for the camera world position, camera world pause, which I will have zoomed in by now, hopefully, um, and that is minus 4.2, minus 1455.3, and minus 116.5. Now this will take you to near this pillar. Now, I will use screenshots and all the evidence I can muster to support my opinion on this and the other person's opinion. I can't remember their names, I believe it was on Reddit or something like that, or on the Subnautica forums, not entirely sure. So I will use my evidence to support my opinion as best you can. You guys can theory away in the comment section. I love discussions about Subnautica, so I'd really like some of you to have a go at explaining your theories or whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, or what whatever you think. So. It's been confirmed, I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed that this is going to be the storyline, what I'm about to explain to you now. Okay, so, picture this. We've come on a mining expedition to this planet. I don't think, I doubt we've come in concern that we've lost other people, because the abandoned bases seems to be a mystery kind of thing. Um, but basically, the plot of this game will be that there will be a secret organisation on this planet, whether they're humans, or whether they're extraterrestrials I'm not sure a secret organization probably of people I would imagine are keeping the sea emperor captive in a prison so the sea emperor is not your enemy if anything it's your friend and so basically the secret organization is keeping this this huge monster captive and people believe that it will almost definitely be in the lava zone because people think that this will be in the end game, this area here. But people think I came to this pillar. I came to this pillar because the person that gave the coordinates for it believes that 
this may be a placeholder for the positioning of the CM for prison. Now, I'll back up my evidence with screenshots here. There are mentionings on Trello and on the roadmap about a Siempra prison. So, hey, I'm back again. I have ended the video by now, but I think this will be somewhere in between the video. Uh, whilst researching for the screenshots for this video to back up with my events, I went on the Trello board, found the place where it says about the Siempra prison, and it says that it gives coordinates and then says that this is the entrance to the Siempra prison. So they've given us this is the coordinates and it drops you right above here and these are the coordinates right here again camera world position it's a bit broken as you can see in fact it's very broken there's a hole in the floor and I'm kind of curious as to what's in it nothing there's a hole in the floor here so will this be the entrance to the prison or what's going on here yeah, so this will be the entrance right here. So I'm not entirely sure what that whole pole thing was about. So wait, hang on, what? Now when I first saw that I was like, hmm, does that mean the Sea Emperor is keeping captives? Or what the hell that means? But actually it means that the Sea Emperor is being cap taken captive by secret organisations, which is a really, really cool plot twist. So people think that the idea of this storyline will be you'll have to save the Sea Emperor from the secret organisation. That's what people think. It's very strange. I had no idea the storyline would be going this way at all. It's completely out of the blue. I never thought that that would be what would happen in this game. A secret organisation, maybe. Maybe it's the Illuminati. No, it's not. Um, but whether it's humans or not, I would imagine it's probably humans judging by the way that they use the word secret organization uh, well, well, secret organization stuff like that very suspicious um but it's kind of confusing though because it basically means that that Altera perhaps either had some enemies in the way of science so they had some people that were working against them so rivals in the kind of business of science that either got to this planet before Altera and tried to terraform it. Maybe, maybe when they were terraforming it, they found the Sea Emperor and thought that it was too dangerous to be let free. Perhaps? I'm not sure. But anyway, another company or something, because it seems to be this kind of, um, I get this kind of company vibe. Um, how there are like corporate businesses sending ships out to own planets. That That's the kind of image I'm getting from this game. Um, and I feel like maybe a rival business got to this planet first, or it's just a secret organisation of this planet, or whether it's humans that have colonised it first. Not entirely sure. But that could mean that Altera have some enemies, that they didn't know got here first. Hence why there's, um, hence why there's, oh god, what am I doing with my life? Hence why there's people here. And maybe those other bases weren't made by Altera. Maybe they were made by the other company. Or another theory that I saw on that forum as well that seemed quite interesting was that people believe that it may have been some rogue people, rogue colonists that felt like they needed to perhaps take control of the planet for the greater good of humanity, maybe they're just crazy. Maybe they are just crazy. That's perfectly plausible. But of course, there's many, many other theories as to why there's a secret organisation, because of course, if you know Feota, you'll probably know that he is a game tester. Uh, he's one of the game testers for the actual game, so he has quite a lot of insight into what actually happens. Uh, maybe not into what actually happens in the game, like um, plot-wise and stuff like that, but he would probably be one of the first to know about a plot twist or something if it happens. So he's a very trustworthy source. But again, that's just a theory. Um, but there is definitely that is going to be the that's going to be the th the story. It 
like it or not, that's going to be the story. I think it's a really, really cool idea. Um, and I can see what this guy's coming from. I feel like this probably... I don't think this used to be here. I mean, I never really explored the lava zone that much. But they've definitely worked on it. Um, especially, like, the shaders and stuff. Obviously, this isn't finished yet. Um, because, obviously, there's a gigantic cube here. But I feel like this is definitely some kind of placeholder for the de developers so that they know what they're looking for when they try to find something. So, at the moment, this is where I think the emperor prison is going to be and where the secret agency is going to be as well. They also said that um, the sea emperor is going to be protected uh, from any intruders by turrets. Not entirely sure what kind of turrets they're talking about here. I mean, they could be EMP turrets, they could be just plain old shoot them down turrets, or they could be some kind of futuristic laser turret. I'm not entirely sure, but it definitely says that they're going to be protected by some kind of turret. Please go ahead, put your thoughts in the comments below. This is not 100% proof, but I'm getting the information from Feota and other places on the internet, so that's where I'm getting my information from, if you're wondering. But very, very interesting stuff. I may do some videos if you're interested on developing this base into a much bigger research facility of this pole. Whether it will still be there um, after a while, I have no idea. But this definitely looks suspicious. Definitely looks like some kind of placeholder for future game development. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. Please, please, please go ahead and like this video. Uh, because it will show that you're supporting my theory. Um, maybe if you don't agree with my theory, say so in the comments. Say so. What you think your theory is going to be? What do you think you're going to have to do? Do you think we're going to have to protect the Emperor, or we're going to have to destroy the Emperor with the Agency? Who do you think the Agency is? Answer that. Who do you think they are? Do you think they're humans? Do you think they're aliens? Do you think they're... Do you think they're warpers? Da da dun, dun! Do you think they're warpers? I doubt they're warpers. Although, it's a possibility, because warpers do seem like the most kind of clever out of all of them, I feel. It's, they look like the most intelligent simply because they have a kind of humanoid figure, if you catch my drift. Um, they kind of have arms and legs and they're kind of wearing a cape, but obviously they have tentacles as well. So, if anything, my guess is that it will probably be humans, but if it's not humans, it will be warpers. That's my guess. Uh, but also, the Warpers may just be servants for the Secret Society, or they may just be animals in the game, like the Sea Treader will be. So yeah, basically that's it. Um, I don't really have much else to say other than, oh my god, this game is going to get amazing when the story is developed. Um, I mean, already I can tell that I can, I can sense a good story is coming along, and uh, that's definitely been shown today by this theory, so thank you ever so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like if you enjoy the video. But I'm going to leave it here. So if you're liking this series of Subnautica, then give it a like. If you're feeling really generous, subscribe to become a crunchy today. But until next one, I will see you guys in the next one. Tarah, my friends.